If you've played Call of Duty Zombies before, then you know that in order to get around the map, you must first open doors using points. But what if you're on a budget, and wanted to not buy any doors at all? Well then you would become a first rumour. What if I wanted to do the easter egg as well? Then you'll need to get a bit more creative, wouldn't you? Today we're going to find out if that's possible, and as a bonus, I will be further challenging myself by not allowing myself to buy anything except for gum hits and tram rides. Since the easter egg requires 4 players to get to the very end of the easter egg, I will be going as far as I can on solo, which is killing the shadow man. Also I just want to say this took a lot of attempts. Like a lot. I loaded in only to find a stupid door in front of me. So that leads onto our first challenge. How do we leave the spawn? There's another door on the other side which leads to Nero's lair. And to open it, you need to go through the lair while in beast mode and zap this box to open the stairs. But to get into Nero's lair, you need to grapple on this balcony, which we can't. Fortunately, there's a trick to skip that by jumping off this car to turn it on. So now we have a way out of spawn, let's go ahead and start doing some cool stuff. Oh. Turns out there's a death barrier active when the spawn door isn't opened. You can disable it by opening one of the other doors, but I don't like doors. I tried making it to the gun machine, but couldn't spin it before getting killed. I also tried opening stairs and canals using beast mode, but nothing would stop the death barrier. So I threw in the towel and I opened the spawn door. Once I was in junction, I went into beast mode and hopped on this fence to get into the canal district. I then opened up the perk location and the ruby rabbit. The reason I did this is because I will be using the anywhere but here gobblegum to enter the districts without opening doors. You see, when you open up an area in beast mode, it becomes possible to teleport to it with the gobble gum. However, when I used anywhere but here, I ended up at waterfront. How did that happen? The answer is the tram. Wherever the tram is, you can teleport to it, even if it's not opened. So I used the beast mode to open the perk location and the burlesque, so I could teleport to it. Then, I rode the tram to footlight. I then opened up that district's perk location and the gym. Now all the sections of the map were accessible by anywhere but here. So now that all the locations were accessible, I used my other charge and teleported to Riftside Footlight. Each district has two sections, one next to the rift and one next to the tram, each separated by a disgusting door. So Riftside is the section adjacent to the junction, meaning I could grab the toopy and open the rift. I then had to burn through the round in order to get anywhere but here back, as that was the only way I could access these new areas. Once I got it, I teleported to the subway, which is useless. So I used it again, and teleported to Riftside Canals, which is good. So I grabbed the police badge and opened that rift, before burning through a few more rounds, and then teleporting to Riftside Waterfront, which is exactly where I wanted to go. Now I had all the ritual parts and all the rifts were open. Now all I needed to do was complete the rituals. I used my second charge, hoping to end up on the tram side of the map, but instead ended up in the same place, which was useless. So I was stuck. After burning through more rounds, then teleporting to Rift's side two more times, I forgot that I could start the sword. So I opened up the wall using the code I got from the tram raids, then filled up the first statue in the subway. After burning through a few more rounds, I finally got a tram side teleport at Footlight. So I did the ritual in the burlesque, then rode the tram over to Waterfront and did the ritual in the gym. Then I went to Canals and started the only tram side statue location, which is next to the third ritual I needed to do. Once I did both of those, I went to Hit for anywhere but here, so I could get back to the Rift side. But unfortunately, had to make a quick getaway due to my exit being blocked. Once I got anywhere but here, I used it and teleported to Riftside Footlight. So I started a statue there and also opened this purple pod, which gave me a bootleg. Finally, no more RK5. Once done, I used the rifts 
to go to Waterfront and finish the last statue. Then I headed over to Nero's lair to complete the fourth ritual. Getting the tentacle from a pod on the way, I then completed the final ritual and grabbed the sword before going back to Nero's to get my Ark Ovum. The first Ovum I did was the one at the junction, and it was right next to Nero's lair. So, why not then, I guess. I started hitting for any over here again, since all the other Ovum locations were tram side, so I needed to get across the barrier. Once I got ABH, I used it and ended up at tram side footlight, which was good. So I did the Ovum there, no problem. I then ended the round and rode the tram to the next Ovum, which was waterfront. After completing that, I ended the round and went to canals to complete my final Ovum. After I finished it, I went to hit for any over here, and then teleported to the subway. So I walked in Nero's lair, and got my upgraded sword, as well as the book. Now it was onto the hardest part of the challenge. The flag step was difficult, as it was the step that required you to go between rift side and tram side. You would pick up the flag in the subway, and finish it at one of the ritual sites. The only ritual site which wasn't tram side was Nero's lair. The only way you could do this was to complete one flag on the rift side and then use anywhere but here and hope you'll end up on the tram side. Otherwise, you'll have to break the flag and start again. I started my first flag and went to junction. Despite the bootleg being utter garbage, I had no problem. But when the flag finished, I teleported to rift side waterfront. So I used it again and teleported to tram side footlight, which was really good. So after that, I burned through a few more rounds until I got another Anyweber here. Then I started the next flag. After it finished, I used Anyweber here and ended up at Rift Side Canals. Very unfortunate. So I went to Junction via the Rifts and finished the flag at Nero's Lair. Then I burned a few more rounds before moving on to flag number 3. I started off at Waterfront, then used Anyweber here and teleported to Rift Side Canals, then Rift Side Footlight. And since there was no way of getting to the tram side now, I placed the flag down and let it get destroyed. If I did two flag spots before using any over here, then I would be soft locked, where I'm holding the flag but unable to put it down as I've done my two locations already. Meaning the only way I could put it down is to down myself. And since the rounds get pretty high, it usually ends in game over. So that's why I do one flag then ABH. I got my any over here back and tried the flag again. Rift side footlight, then rift side footlight again. So I let the meeples destroy the flag again. I did this again, and once again didn't get tram side. And then once again, no tram side. I figured out that maybe waterfront isn't my lucky location. So I tried footlight instead. And this time it worked. I got tram side waterfront on my second teleport. Once finished, I decided to craft the Apothecan Servant, since I hadn't done that yet, and that weapon is OP as shit. I then realized I could use a trick called Human Grapple to get from tram side to rift side, without using an any over here. What is Human Grapple? It is a recently found trick where you spam weapon swap while exiting beast mode, and that gives you a little extra time as beast, so you can grapple while human. The place I could use this was canals, so I used it and... For the love of- Okay, so it turns out there's a death barrier at that grapple location, which gets checked every 3 seconds, and if you are in that area, when the check happens, you die instantly. I did not know that. So after doing that again, I got to the same position, and this time used anywhere but here to get to rift side, as I am not gambling again. I used it and I got rift side, no! Just got to finish this flag and get tram side and... Hell yeah, tram side, footlight, let's go! Now I just have to ride the tram to canals and finish the flag. Easy peasy. Oh. Turns out there's no flag location left on tram side, and I was stuck holding the flag. If any over here did tram side, then I would have to down in order to get rid of the flag. Luckily, Anyweber here didn't troll me and gave me rift side, so I disposed of the flag. The only way I can do this last flag is that I have to do two locations on the rift side, then Anyweber here, and hope for tram side, otherwise I will have to down to break the soft lock. I started at waterfront, very nervous that I wouldn't get the luck to finish this run. I could have gone to the other waterfront location second, but waterfront is unlucky, so I went to canals, 
I finished it. I used any over here and tram side waterfront. He's only gone and done it. I didn't have to down. I rode the tram to victory. I had finished the flag step. Now I was on to the shadow man boss fight. To play it safe, I got myself a raindrops and killed the Magua before starting. And now I was on to the final step. Get the shadow man's soul into the summoning key. 